Hey, everybody. So it looks like I'm live. This is the first webinar I'm doing on how to make money blogging. So let's see how it uh, let's see how it goes. Um, let me see. I wanted to do a few things just to get the ball rolling. First, uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Mike Caldwell, and I'm fixing my collar. And I'm the marketing medic. I've been uh, online marketing for the past four years now, I guess. Um, I was with Quick Click Funnels for quite a while, building funnels for uh, for myself, and then I was I formed an agency, and I was building funnels for uh, for other people. I've always been really big on the strategy of things more so than the tools, uh, but today I'm going to be talking about the tools. All right, and I'm going to be talking about the tools and how they can apply to blogging. So. Uh, there's a lot. Of, oh, and just so you guys know, this isn't uh, your typical webinar where I'm going to give you this huge spiel about, you know, how I was, you know, bankrupt and living in my car and in my mom's basement, and then I made a million dollars, and then, you know, you can do it too. It's not one of those things. No, I'm not going to have this huge stack at the end of the webinar telling you, you know, you get this and this and this and this. I'm not going to do any of that stuff. All I'm here today to do is show you um, the way I. What I think you need to do if you actually want to make money online with your blog. And at the end, I'm going to show you one platform that will do it all. And if you want to give it a try, you can. If you don't want to give it a try, you don't need to. Um, you can piecemeal and, and do all the stuff I'm, I'm going to tell you about in other ways. All right. So here's the deal if you want to make money online with a blog, uh, first, you need to have a blog, right? And there's so many ways you can do that. You can do uh, WordPress is probably the biggest for bloggers. There's Blogger, uh, there's uh, Wix, Weebly. You can have blogs in a number of different er with another number of different platforms, and they will all get you online. They'll all give you an online blog presence. But the problem with those platforms is they kind of stop there. Once you have a blog, that's it. You've got a blog. Maybe you've got an audience. But what do you want to ultimately do for that? If you just want to tell your story, if you just want to have an online journal where you can um, share what you're doing with the world, then WordPress and all those guys, they're, they're great for that. They, they will definitely help you get your message out there. Um, but if you want to do more than that, if you want to do, um, like if you want to create, if you want to monetize, if you want to make money, if you want to sell products, if you want to sell services, if you want to have a membership site where you can get people giving you money every month, then you're going to need, need more than just a blog. And so that's what I want to talk about today is, is, the, um, is the system and the, the protocol that you want to follow to actually make money from the blog once you have a blog up and running, OK? And so I'm gonna, we're going to actually I'm going to start from how to get a blog up and running to doing it right from the beginning right through to making some money at the end, OK? So. Uh, just this, just so you guys know, I've got four dogs here. It's crazy. Uh, right now, I'm renting some canoes, so there's people outside like getting canoes, and so there's a chance that my dogs are going to go crazy because they're going to hear people walking up and down my yard with canoes. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to share my screen, and we're going to get rolling with what you need to do for um for your blog and how to make money from it. All right. So there is the infinity screen. I love the infinity screen. It's so cool. But we're not going to look at that. We're going to look at. We're going to look at. We're going to look at this. All right. So where is my blog? Here is my blog. Let me just go and make sure that you guys are seeing what I want you to see. Yes, you are seeing what I want you to see. Perfect. Okay. Here is my blog. All right. Marketing on your horse and online marketing strategy blog. All right So the first thing that I want you to think about is Like why I why this is what it is. Okay, so first marketing on your horse It's just kind of interesting and I'm actually hacking Russell Brunson a little bit uh, Russell does marketing in your car I thought it'd be funny to do marketing on your horse um, And so that's why I have this picture of me riding my horse and so the reason I'm doing that is Everything that you do online should be to help gain you more credibility, all right? And so um, we see a lot of guys out there who rent really expensive houses and rent, you know, the Ferrari and the um, and rent the Ferrari and rent the, uh, the Lambos and stuff like that. And the thing is, is we know they're renting. We know it's all BS. And so what I'm trying to do is, is uh, paint myself as this credible dude who doesn't have Lambos and Ferraris, but I've got this pretty cool lifestyle where... You know, I get to ride my horse in the in, in the field and have fun. All right. 
But marketing on your horse, that as a title, nobody is currently Google searching for somebody who's marketing on their horse. And so for an SEO perspective, that's why I put in this byline of an online marketing strategy blog. So you could probably guess that for SEO, I'm trying to go after online marketing strategy because that's what I'm an expert in. That's what I know about. And people do um, Google search for that, all right? So we come down and this is my blog, all right? And so we see here in my blogs, here on the left, so the secret of paid traffic, click funnels versus builder all, marketing medics alias is from Matt Trapper, marketing advice for a Las Vegas drug dealer and on. Okay. And then over here on the right, we've got, which are basically ads for myself. All right. And I'm going to come back to that in a second. First, though, I want to talk about the secret to paid traffic. So if we click on that, that's going to bring you to this screen here, the secret to paid traffic. And this, uh, this is my article page, all right? And then again, over here on the right, you see um, there's, there's what's basically an ad for myself. So here's the first thing. A lot of people, when they start writing their blog, they're just gonna write about what they wanna talk about. And that's great because you gotta write about what you know. But the thing is, is you also wanna write about things that people are searching for. So you gotta give some thought to what do I wanna write about, what do I know, but what are people searching for? So as it turns out, people are searching for paid traffic. So if you want people to find your blog organically, then Google needs to know about it. So you want to um, you want to optimize your page so that Google will find paid traffic. And so the the one platform that I'm going to share with you at the end of this webinar is called Builderall, and what it does is everything. And so I'm going to show you what I mean by everything right now. So the secret to paid traffic. We decided that I've got a dog chewing a bone right behind me, and it's kind of driving me nuts. I don't know if you can hear that or not. So here is the Builderall SEO tool. So I've got the keyword, which is paid traffic, and this is the URL for uh, my blog. And you can see here it shows that um, the title is there. And you know, the URL is not showing up because it's got dashes between the paid traffic. You know what? I have to move this dog. One second. I'll be right back. Like in 12 seconds. Come on. Let's go. Come on. I wonder if that's ever happened with you guys before. The guy had to leave the webinar to deal with a dog. Anyway, back to the SEO. So you can see that I've got uh, paid traffic in my H1 box, my H2 to H4. It's in the body 11 times. And I scored uh, a grade of A. Okay, it goes from A to F. And then there's an overview. I can see the critical factors. I got four out of four for the critical factors, seven out of seven for the high relevance factors, seven out of nine for the moderate, and then all the way down. So you can see here what I'm missing. So, keyword uses in image alt attribute. I don't know what that means, so I gotta learn that and figure that out and get that fixed. Keyword uses in the URL, it actually is in the URL, it's just uh, divided by a hyphen, which I, I have no control over that. But like I say, you can go all the way down through and you can see that where I'm strong and where I'm weak and uh, what I need to work on. So this is super important when you're starting your blog, this is the first thing you need to do is Every article you write, make sure you run it through an SEO tool so you know that when people are looking for what you're talking about, they're going to find you, all right? So that's the first thing you want to do when you're creating a blog. So here's my blog, the article, here's the blog. Now what I'm curious about is I've got all these articles here. I've got links on the, on the right. Wouldn't it be cool if I knew what to write about in the future, all right? Like what are people interested in? What are they checking out? What do they wanna know most about? And so for that, Builderall has this other awesome cool tool, which is called a heat map. And so here is the heat map for my blog. And so you can see where people are clicking. And what's interesting is people are really clicking a lot on my services, which is cool. For me to know, and actually, I made a sale this morning. It's a nine hundred ninety-seven dollars sale this morning because I have this button here, and so since so many people are clicking on this, what that also tells me is I've made one sale this morning, but that's the first sale in two weeks. So if all these people are clicking, I probably need to go to my landing page 
for these services and see if there's anything I can do to beef that up or see if there's anything I can do, and I'm going to show you this in, the, in a moment, to capture their email so I can follow up more with them about my services. All right? Then as we scroll down, we can see what um, articles they're clicking on the most. And so the secret to paid traffic, that's getting a lot of clicks. Click, not um, uh, ClickFunnels versus Builder all is. And there's a there's one small problem with uh, with this heat map right now, and it's because of the date. And what I did is just yesterday is when I added this credibility vortex in at the top. So all these people were clicking in this area, and what happened is I moved the stuff that's behind that. So moving forward, I'm going to have to change uh, the dates of this. So let's see, um, when did I change that? What's today? Today is heat map from oh that's July. So let's do August. Today's the 24th. Let's see what, what's happened in the last couple of days. OK, so there. There we have that. So we can see that the only click I've had up here, this is interesting too. A lot of people want to follow me on Twitter, and I'm not doing anything on Twitter. So because I have this heat map, that's showing one of my huge weaknesses right there in that I'm not doing anything on Twitter, and people want to follow me there. So I need to start doing stuff on Twitter. And again, somebody ha was interested in my services, so I've got to click on that. Maybe that was that woman who signed up this morning. But here we go. We can see that people are interested in the Credibility Accelerator Vortex, which is cool. I've got, you know, I've got a few clicks on the paid traffic and only one click on the read more. And then not much stuff happening as we move down. So the people who um, want to build, who've been to the site probably already have Builderall. That's why there's no clicks there. Like I said, this is only two days or a day of clicking, so there's not that much uh, data. But anyway, if you've got a blog, this is super important because now, like I said, I learned a very valuable thing. I learned that people want to follow me on Twitter, and so I need to get active with Twitter because I, I don't value that, but apparently my uh, blog readers do. So I need to get to work on that. And it also tells me that there's more people interested in uh, paid traffic than they are ClickFunnels versus Builderall. Okay, and they really don't care that I was in uh, this super cool video, which is bizarre because this is like the best video ever. But anyways, um, there we go. So that's the second thing you want to do because now that you have a heat map and you know what you're weak in, you know what you're strong in, now I know what I need to fix and I know what I need to emphasize, all right? And so from there, from there, now that I know that people are interested in paid traffic, now I know people are interested in this, uh, Credibility Accelerator Vortex, then again with Builderall, you can build, it's on the wrong page, you can build an opt-in funnel, okay? So here, this is what you're gonna wanna do, because with a blog, blogs are awesome because people come to you and they read your content, right? But the thing is, is they have to come to you, you have no way to go to them. So by having this link over here with the, Credibility Accelerator Vortex, they click on that, they come to this page, and so I'm talking about, so blogs lack a destination, I'm saying, that's why I'm doing this webinar. Websites are, are dead, or are they? Sales funnels lack credibility, okay? So what's the solution? Well, you've got to engage a Credibility Accelerator Vortex to turn complete strangers into raving buyers with their first exposure to you, okay? So hopefully that's got their curiosity up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach them how to do that with a web class. So they give me their email here, like so. I'll just show you the rest of the page. So here is why you need a Credibility Accelerator Vortex. Here are my top blog posts, okay? So if people aren't interested in this, I don't necessarily have to lose them. I, I, they can click on here, and this is why it's a vortex, because now they can go back to my blog by clicking on any one of these articles, okay? Then I've got a definition of who I am. I made this really cool scroll thing with those uh, certifications. Got some testimonials from some guys who are known in the digital marketing world. And anyway, so that's that's my landing page. And everything here is is uh, put here to help get me more credibility. Okay, so I've got my I've got consistency. Right, this background is the same as the background I have with my blog, and that's another important reason to be building 
all of your different sites on the same platform because you've got that consistency. When when somebody goes from one place to another, it feels like they're still in your house. It doesn't feel like they've gone to a completely new and unique destination. So anyway, I've just made this per really personal and uh, you can see my picture all over the place. I've made a video. Um, I've given a, a description of who I am. I've given you know some of my certifications that I have here. I've got testimonials from a couple of big shots. So all of this is helping brand build credibility. Most people who do landing pages or opt-in pages just do this. They just have, you know, get my free thing, give me your email, and maybe I'll give it to you or maybe I won't. Because I say maybe because there's no credibility there. Like if you just throw up a landing page in five or ten minutes then people aren't going to trust you. So you need to put a little bit more work into it by providing all this other stuff. All right, so now, so people are on your blog, they clicked on your, your Vortex link, and then they're like, yeah, I want to find out more about this, this uh, Credibility Accelerator Vortex. So they click the Submit button, and then they come to a page, and I, haven't, I actually haven't built the, I'm two-thirds of the way through the, uh, through the video, for what the online credibility accelerator is. And that video is gonna go right here. And once they watch the video, then they've got four options. And this is this is where things get ex exciting for bloggers because you, you lured them in with your blog, you show them that you know what you're talking about, you've proven to them that you're an expert in the field, you've got them over here, they've given you their email address, and now you have the option to start selling them stuff. So here I've got option one. So my credibility accelerator vortex is it's partially what I'm teaching you today, but it's actually kind of what I'm teaching you today is backwards to what I usually teach. I usually talk to people who build. from them so I'm sort of doing it backwards but anyway so they watch the video they see why they need to have more than just a sales funnel they need to have a blog they need to have a website they need to have an email campaign and so they can do that all by themselves 100% DIY and they can just click on this and if they go to that then they're gonna click on they're gonna go to my link to uh, to purchase builder all all right so that's my that's my affiliate link right there and if they sign up, then I get them as an affiliate in my in my builder all team. All right, or I can come down and I can do, go to the next level DIY with templates and instructions. So here, when they click on this, then they're gonna and I'm still building out this membership, but then they're gonna be able to go into my membership site where they can purchase um, where they can purchase a, a template. It's a template actually of this website that gives them instruction on how to do everything all the way down the line. Let me show you how that looks. This is kind of cool, actually. I don't, I don't know if anybody's done this before, um, but uh, this is the way I would like to be instructed, and so this is the way I created the instruction. So Vortex with videos. So um, let's look at the website. So if you go to Vortex with videos, so here's my, uh, here's my Credibility Vortex page, right? Recognize that? That's what it is, but now I've got these orange buttons on it. So if you're new to Builderall and you don't know how to um, and you don't know how to 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 build a website, you're like, okay, how did he get this text in here? Well, you just click on this button, and a video pops up with how to do the texting thing. Pretty cool, eh? And then if you're like, oh, how do you, how do you make that scrolling thing? That's really cool. How do you do that? Well, you click on that. A pop-up shows up, and there you go. Now you can see how. Now I've given you an instruct an instruction tutorial on how to do the scrolling text. All right. So where where are we? We're over here. So back here. So my second option is DIY with templates and instructions. So now, if they just sign up to this, that's awesome because now I get somebody in my in my in my team. So we're getting recurring uh, revenue from them. But down here, I'll be getting recurring. They do the DIY. They still sign up for Builderall. But then they have to pay me to get these templates and instruction. So that's you know that's more money for me. And again, this is all coming back from what you can do if you start with a blog. And then down here we've got option three. So here it's you get this, you get this, but you can also do weekly coaching with me. So there we're getting recurring income from this, right? 
we're getting recurring income plus a one-time payment for the templates and instruction. And then we're down here, we get recurring income from the bill draw time for the templates, plus we'll pay additional monthly recurring for, uh-oh, shut up. Chad's saying you can't see the webinar. Start. Oh, man. Technical difficulties. Okay, what's happening? Sorry, guys. Oh, man. So guys, I'll tell you what, um, if you could, if you can hear me, I don't even know if you can hear me, but if you can hear me, uh, go to credibilityvortex.com, log in there, and I'm gonna record this, I'm gonna pre-record this video, and, uh, and it'll just be pre-recorded, and that way we won't have these technical difficulties with the live version. So sorry this has happened, fellas and girls. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look like my camera's working because I'm not sharing anymore. Turn camera off. I don't know what's happening. There's a problem with something. Anyway, we're, I'm going to have to uh, do this at another time. Super sorry this happened, folks. And I'll, uh, I'll get to see you somehow. Bye-bye.